Hi YouTubers, this is Buddy coming at you with the final uh, video on a three-part series on reef tank maintenance. Now, what we're going to talk about today, we're going to touch on one thing that I left out on video two on daily maintenance, and then we're going to talk about uh, something you should do monthly, every two months, every six months, and every eight to ten months. First thing we're going to touch on that I left out on video two on daily maintenance was check your temperature. Always monitor your temperature every day. Visually inspect your temperature to make sure it's operating at optimal temperature that you have your aquarium running at. Okay, now with that out of the way, let's talk about monthly tasks. Something you should be doing monthly if you're running dosing pumps like me, every month you should be flushing out your lines. Take your lines out of your dosing solutions and out of the aquarium and flush them out with RODI water, especially in your calcium tubes to make sure they don't build up the calcium doesn't harden over time and prevent your pump from operating at proper um, operate operating properly sorry about that guys you know so definitely flush out your lines every month um, I think it's very important to help maintain your pump and help maintain uh, that your solutions are being dosed to your aquarium properly all right now let's touch on something you should be doing every two months let me focus here Every two months, maybe even earlier for some guys, but every two months I take out all my power heads. Not at the same time, but, you know, I'll do one at a time. I take them out and I give them a vinegar bath and a good brush down to make sure that they are clean of debris and they are operating at their full capacity. Uh, over time, the algae will build up and slow the pumps down and make it so the pumps aren't operating properly. I know this MP, or MP, um... WP25 I have here, I just took out last night and gave it a vinegar bath and cleaned it. Now this uh, this pump right here was literally the flow was reduced down to about half. I was kept messing with the settings and I'm like, you know, this this thing, I'm just not getting out of it what I should be. You know, so I'm like, I guess it's due, you know, it's time to give it that vinegar bath and give it a good cleaning. So that's very important, guys. Every two months, maybe even sooner for some people, depending on how much algae or you know, whatever the case is with your aquarium, uh, pull out your pumps and give them a good vinegar bath and a good scrub down. Don't do them all at the same time because you don't want to have uh, lack of flow in your aquarium while you're waiting for your pumps to, uh, you know, get cleaned with the vinegar and stuff like that. Also, every two months it's a good thing. You know, you might be able to push it a little bit longer, but every two months I pull out my entire protein skimmer, the whole thing, and I give it a good clean down. I make sure the the Ventura valve on the protein pump, protein skimmer's pump, is clean and the airway is free of debris and doesn't build up with calcium deposit or anything like that over time. So it's good to take out the protein pump every two months. I take out the whole entire protein skimmer and I clean the entire thing out every two months in the, in the sink. It's very important to maintain your protein skimmer and make sure you're getting that full 30% um, operation out of it, guys. You know, they're only 30% effective. We want to optimize the most of that 30%. So we want to make sure we're cleaning it every two months, giving a full rundown, giving the uh, pump a good vinegar bath and a good scrub down, making sure it's operating properly. Now, this is going to fall under every six months. You can do it every four months if you want, is cleaning the back of your overflow box. Pulling out the pipes, you know, cleaning out the entire pipes, taking a power head, sticking it down to the bottom, whether you just want to blow the debris off the bottom and let the you know let it go down through the the drain and get caught in your filter sock or if you want to take a power head and uh, try to manually suck it out if you can you know I sometimes will stick the power head the hose on the power head and then pull the bottom off you know I get the power heads with the tube they kinda of got the long tube ends on the bottom they sell them at Walmart and I kinda of use it as a vacuum and it works out really well for me but if you don't have that option just stick a power head down inside there and let it really blow all that detritus off the bottom of your overflow box. We don't want that detritus to build up for too many months and that overflow box become a nitrate and phosphate factory. So it's very important every six months, you can do it every four months if you want to really stay on top of it, but I find every six months to be more more than, a, more than enough to uh, stay efficient for my aquarium. So every six months guys definitely make sure you're cleaning out your overflow boxes. Stick a power head down there and clean off all that debris. Alright guys, now let's talk about something you should be doing really every 10 months is probably going to be more than sufficient but if you're running t5 bulbs or something or power compacts i, I, I would stick more towards power compacts if you're running power power 
compact fluorescent tubes. Switch them out every eight months. Religiously change them out every eight months, guys. They change spectrum over time. That's going to fuel algae growth, and it's going to make it so your corals are not getting what they need out of the light, the proper UV spectrum, the proper photosynthetic uh, radiation, the proper PAR, everything out of their light fixtures. Uh, T5 lighting um, every 10 months. If you're running metal halides, you can get away with maybe every 10 to 12 months. But make sure you're changing your bulbs out religiously, guys. All right? I hope these tips help you maintain your aquarium. And if you need help maintaining your aquarium, definitely leave me a message. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you, guys. Happy reefing. This is Buddy signing out. This is Buddy signing out. Happy reefing. All right, guys. Bye.